Yo, 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 welcome back to the video. I think this is about part five, part six. Please forgive me if I'm losing track, but yo, dude, it's getting late. I really have to go because I don't want to get mugged in the streets. And, uh, but yo, I'm joking, dude. You're my people. I gotta give my attention to you guys. But this is definitely, you know, the continuation from the previous video. So if you didn't get uh, this, is your first time on this channel and this is your first video, please do click on the link above this will take you to my previous video and then the other link above as well which is gonna pop up soon will take you to my other videos and once you are there you get a hang of what is a roof basic elements for roof and how to design a roof and then come back and then we just continue from there so we taken this from the previous video what we did was we started off with our main trusses which were catering for the roof uh, where we started off with the main gitters, the main gitters, right? And then we started going off, and then we offset with the hip gitter. Now we have the hip gitters, and now what we have to do is now start talking about these truncated trusses. So the issue with the hip roof is once you hit the apex or after the ridge line, your roof starts falling. You know, it starts falling. So I want you to visualize this thing when you have this truss, right? This roof slopes this direction going towards the dimensions and also it slopes in this direction going towards the command line box so in reality what that looks like is right or oh, let's just go to a gable roof let's just let's just go to a gable roof you see wherever the roof slopes the trusses start slope as well with the roof so how do you cater that now when you're looking at the hip end of a roof okay because in the hip end of a roof as I told you, you do have, don't look at the, this is American, we're looking at the metric system or more of the African system. So what you have is you have these trusses, but part of these trusses is in the hip section or in this section of the hip. So what does that mean, bro? Because this means my trusses can peak. So basically what I'm just trying to say is my trusses cannot be full trusses. You just can't have look at the finger as it goes you just can't have this truss in the hip end of a roof or the hip section of a roof this section of the roof so as you can see this is what you now have to do so carpenters you know people whatever they thought about it and they were like yo dude this is what we do let's just cut off a piece or the chunk of the peak and uh, we lay out a truss that goes horizontal okay horizontal as you can see goes there so your rafters or your trusses come up nicely 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 and then when they hit the hip this is where the hip line will be then they are cut off you cut them off bro and then they go horizontal as they go horizontal and then they meet the other end then they start going down as well so you'll find that the distance where you cut them off uh, gets you know you start cutting them off at certain distances you know if if you see in the elevations let me just try and show you the elevations of a similar cut of truss so this is for example this is the trusses from the elevation of a truss in the hip section or hip end of a roof as you can see this one this te this specific te is uh this one the first te after the hip and the ridge meet so this te that i just highlighted this is the elevation this is what it actually looks like it's this and then this te the second te that you're seeing there is actually this te right the furthest one just before the hip kid which i called kid a and this one so as you can see the one that's just after the point where the two hips meet the ridge is cut a little bit higher than the other one which is way further from the point where the two hips meet the ridge this one is cut a little bit shorter because what happens is as soon as it rises you know the distance where it's cut off as well i think it kind of makes sense when you just look at it it's cut off much earlier than this one so because this one will be lower this is a much lower point than this point so this point there is much lower than this point here so yeah that's it so we go back to our drawing so how do you represent truncated trusses so truncated trusses same thing with uh your gitters you represent them with a double line but now with a color code because these are not special trusses the only point is that they're truncated but then they're not carrying too much load you just have to make them uh, cyan as well so yeah that's what it does that's what we do so you also make them cyan 
so now you just make sure you offset this by 50 then you offset this by 50 and when you do this ladies and gentlemen you are done for the trusses that span let's just say if this is lx let me just say let me just dimension this let me just annotate this if this distance right here is lx no this is ly actually this is called the ly please forgive me for that and this is lx so you are done in the trusses that span you know parallel to lx right so the next thing what you have to do with the hip roof let me just check on the time is now what you have to do five minutes we get is now what we do what we term closing the box okay so when you close in the box what you have to do is you come there okay and then you place your truss over there right this is uh now what you're doing is you're placing jack rafters placing jack rafters and then what you do is you ended your line there so this comes from this red line to this red line then you continue your line from that red line to the overhang of the roof and then these lines just make sure they're blue no it's the sign sign and uh let me just say ma again it's sign and uh as usual i usually do some of these things way way before you guys join me on my videos so what you're gonna do is i'm just trying to match properties match properties so what you want to do is the line that's uh let me just i just match the properties okay the line that is between the red trusses what you want is you want to make it dashed okay so this is the reason is why it's called a flying pot it's a flying member right so just make sure it's dashed so if we just want to make sure that for this video if we just want to cruise i would then get into the theory behind why we want but i just want to finish this roof first of all in this video so once you do that that's okay and as previously as i showed you what you want to do is you want to 750 that let's just do it at 750 750 750 750 750 750, 750. okay this 750 doesn't make sense okay this one also doesn't make sense and then uh, you're good to go same thing with the broken lines what you want to do is you want to do 750 that's 750 there you go you're done and then what you want to do is you grab your hip and then you start trimming these lines there you go there you go there you go there you go and then uh, yes because what happens is whatever line that doesn't meet the gid or the hip gid it needs to die off at the hip you feel same thing with this the hip kills off this line so all these lines project from the overhang until they meet the hip that's where they die off so these are what we term the jack rafters okay and then what you do is you just mirror that from this point to this point and you're done okay that's mirrored enough then you also need to mirror this too let's just mirror that from this point to this point and then you're done and uh, let's just say no you don't want to erase that so you're done so now what you did is you basically just laid off your jack rafters okay and uh what you do is now once your jack rafters are now laid out and you're cleared out like this what you do is you come to the jack rafters the that the jack rafters that don't meet the hip bridge okay and then what you do is uh it's simple all you gotta do is simple get the okay this other sand i hope you're looking what i'm doing please follow carefully right you just draw those lines they join in so this one uh, went to the ridge so you don't have to draw a line so same thing all you can do and do now is just mirror this let's just mirror that just mirror that from the mid and then you go and then you're good to go all right so that's good that's good for you so you close out one side and this roof is symmetrical so all you have to do is now you just have to mirror everything that you just did okay you mirror everything you mirror everything mirror everything baby it's uh i don't know you just mirror it's like it's like the circus man house of mirrors it's just mirror this thing i remember from the movie us you know mirror projection of someone else who looks exactly like you 
and I'm doing these videos again. I don't know. I'm doing these videos from the dark, man. In dark places, there's no electricity again in this place. Now we just like flipping zapped. Uh, actually, there's no lights and there's now everything. So, bam! There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There you have your truss layout for a simple hip roof. So, I think this is good. This is good. I don't know if. Are there any parts that you guys think maybe I went too fast or I didn't do them too well or you didn't I didn't articulate them quite well for them for you or my enunciation was too much my pronunciation was going off man you guys uh, please do tell me but then this is basically what you start doing now after you're done laying these things right you just just start annotating as like I told you it's the same with the hip roof uh, it's the same with the gable roof the same thing that you did is what you just start doing and uh you were done okay you were definitely done as you can see you are done so there you have your your hip so the next thing will be annotating this but with this video what i want to do is i want you to please uh hit me up tell me all the parts that you didn't understand what you need for me to actually clear up for you where you didn't understand what you didn't get what problems you have or what you still have it or what you managed to grasp from this but if uh, everything is good please do tell me so i'm definitely gonna have to wait before uh, before doing any other video before until you guys give me comments on this one because this is what you guys need to this is the benchmark video before we go so as usual our time is almost up 11 minutes so we'll do it. so there you have, ladies and gentlemen, the simple way or the quickest way to do a roof truss layout for a simple hip roof in AutoCAD. So, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Yo, guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, as usual, guys, if this is your first video, please click on the like button. Just like this video. Click on the subscribe button and share the video, dude. And if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, please click on the link as well. That will be at the end screen. This will take you to my playlist. It will also take you to some of the previous videos uh, that I've done on the series as well. And also, if you need to contact me, click um, connect with me on LinkedIn via email in would you send me a shout out bro and i'll definitely hit you up so another shout out as usual uh it's a shout out to rachel 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 and it's rachel every time and um everybody else uh thank you very much let me just think who else yo shout out to stan the man bro you the guy and uh everybody else i love you guys so please do click the click the subscribe button and share the videos um and i'm definitely i definitely need to watch the joker movie dude tell me if you watched it and uh tell me how it was so until next time babies love you